with recent attacks by Houthi rebels on warships in the Red Sea, point defense systems are returning to prominence. But among the existing models, which would be the best? To answer this question, today we will look at the 10 best point defense systems in operation. As a criterion, we will consider systems composed only of tube armament. Systems that mix cannons and missiles will not enter our ranking. In 10th place is Phalanx. The Phalanx is the United States' most famous point defense system, having been installed on almost all of its warships. It consists of a rotating cannon of 20 mm with 6 barrel, capable of firing up to 4,500 rounds per minute in the most modern version, which holds around 1,500 projectiles in its magazine. The system has its own search and tracking sensors. Although it is one of the most famous point defense systems in the world, it has a natural limitation which is its small caliber, the smallest among all current point defense systems. This limits your reach and consequently reaction time. The phalanx's effective range is estimated to be around 1,500 meters. Against a subsonic missile flying at 250 meters per second, the phalanx would have about 6 seconds to react and neutralize the threat. In ninth place is the Type 730. The Type 730 is a Chinese point defense system inspired by the Dutch goalkeeper design, with very similar performance. However, as the goalkeeper is being retired due to the obsolescence of its fire control systems, we decided not to include it in our ranking. The Type 730 is equipped with a 7-barreled 30mm rotary cannon capable of firing up to 5,800 rounds per minute. The magazine holds 1,280 rounds ready for use. The Type 730 has its own tracking sensors, while the search is carried out by the ship's main radar. The effective range of the Type 730 is approximately 2,500 meters. Against a subsonic missile flying at 250 meters per second, it would have approximately 10 seconds to react and neutralize the threat. In 8th place is the Type 1130. This Chinese point defense system is an evolution of the Type 730, but adopts an 11-barreled rotary cannon that increases its rate to more than 10,000 rounds per minute. The Type 1130 it has its own tracking sensors, while the search is carried out using the ship's main radar. The effective range of the Type 1130 is approximately 2,500 meters. Against a subsonic missile flying at 250 meters per second, it would have approximately 10 seconds to react and neutralize the threat, but it can do this with a much greater volume of fire than the Type 730 due to its superior rate of fire. In seventh place is the AK 630M2. This Russian point defense system is equipped with two 30 mm rotary cannons with six barrels each capable of firing around 10,000 rounds per minute together. Although performance is close to the Type 1130, the AK-630M2 has two main advantages over the Chinese system. The first is the weapon's lower temperature limitation, as the heating is divided between two cannons, not just one, which should allow longer bursts to be fired. The second is that the AK-630M2 carries 4,000 ready-to-use ammunition, a much larger number than the Chinese system. The effective range of the AK-630M2 is approximately 2,500 meters. Against a subsonic missile flying at 250 meters per second, it would have approximately 10 seconds to react and neutralize the threat. The AK-630M2 relies on the ship's main sensors to both detect and track threats. In sixth place is the Sea Snake 30. The Sea Snake 30 is a modern German point defense system, of a very recent design. It is equipped with a single 30mm cannon capable of firing up to 1,100 rounds per minute, and has a total load of up to 147 ready-to-use ammunition. 
One may question why the Sea Snake 30 is ahead of Russian and Chinese systems that have a much higher rate of fire and that carry more ammunition, but there are two reasons for this. The first is the biggest caliber. While the Russian and Chinese systems already mentioned here have a caliber of 30 by 165 mm, the Sea Snake has a caliber of 30 by 173 mm, which generates greater power and range. The second and main reason is the possibility of using programmable ammunition. While systems like the Phalanx, Type 730 and AK 630M2 require direct impacts with ammunition armor piercing to destroy its targets, the Sea Snake 30 can use ABM munitions, which are programmed by the fire control system and explode in the vicinity of the target, launching a rain of fragments in its direction. This requires a much smaller number of shots to cover an equivalent area, which compensates for the lower rate of fire and brings several benefits, such as lower cost per interception, less weapon heating and longer cannon life. The Sea Snake 30 has an effective range of approximately 3,000 meters. Against a subsonic missile flying at 250 meters per second, it would have approximately 12 seconds to react and neutralize the threat without the need to getting direct impacts, thanks to its airburst ammunition. It has an optical fire control system integrated into the weapon itself, while target detection depends on the ship's main radar. In fifth place is the 40mm Bofors MK4 cannon. This Swedish-made cannon is an evolution of the old 40mm cannons, whose initial design dates back to the Second World War. It can fire up to 300 shots per minute, and transport internally 100 ammunition ready for use. This may seem small and even boring compared to noisy rotary cannons that fire thousands of times per minute, but don't be fooled by this weapon's capabilities. One of the main advantages of the Bofors MK4 cannon is its programmable ammunition, called 3P. This approximately 1 kilo ammunition carries thousands of fragments internally and has a proximity sensor that automatically triggers its detonation when it passes close to a target. This sensor is sensitive enough to detonate the ammunition if it passes within 3 meters of a missile or up to 10 meters away from a fighter. This eliminates the need to fire hundreds of shots in an attempt to achieve a direct impact as it is possible to destroy an approaching missile even if the shots from the 40mm cannon pass several meters away from the target. 3P ammunition can also be programmed to explode by time or on impact. Another advantage of this weapon is the superior range of approximately 4,000 meters against aerial targets, which increases reaction time. Against a subsonic missile flying at 250 meters per second, the Bofors MK4 it would have approximately 16 seconds to react and neutralize the threat, without the need for direct impacts, thanks to its 3P ammunition. Because of these capabilities, the Royal Navy selected the Bofors MK4 cannon to provide point defense for its new Type 31 frigates. In fourth place is the 57mm Bofors MK3 cannon. Just like the 40mm Bofors MK4, the 57mm Bofors MK3 cannon is also manufactured in Sweden and can also fire 3P ammunition, which is why it has the same advantages. It has a rate of up to 220 shots per minute, and has 120 ammunition ready for use. Its overall performance is very close to the 40mm Bofors MK4 cannon, and although the rate of fire is slightly lower, it has the advantage of greater range, which is why it is ahead of the 40mm cannon in our ranking. The 57mm Bofors MK3 cannon has an effective range of up to 5,000 meters against aerial targets. Against a subsonic missile flying at 250 meters per second, the Bofors MK3 of 57mm would have approximately 20 seconds to react and neutralize the threat, without the need to getting direct impacts, thanks to its 3P ammunition. It was recently selected to equip the Royal Navy's Type 31 frigates, 
as well as the U.S. Navy's Constellation class frigates. In third place is the Odo Malara twin 40mm cannon. This Italian cannon has basically the same capabilities and advantages as the Swedish Bofors Mk4, as it has the same caliber and also uses 3P ammunition. However, the double mount doubles the rate of fire to up to 600 rounds per minute, and the ammunition load is also much greater. It has two versions that differ in the number of ammunition transported. Version A carries 736 ammunition internally, while version B carries 444 ammunition internally, which guarantees a large capacity to engage several targets successively. The effective range is also equivalent to the single-barreled Bofors Mk4 cannon, approximately 4,000 meters against aerial targets. Against a subsonic missile flying at 250 meters per second, the twin 40mm Odo Malara cannon would have approximately 16 seconds to react and neutralize the threat, without the need to getting direct impacts, thanks to its 3P ammunition. Although its range is slightly inferior to the 57mm cannon, its higher rate of fire and greater quantity of ammunition guarantee a higher volume of fire. Although it is a very powerful weapon, the double 40mm Odo Malara cannon has a major disadvantage, which is its weight, basically equivalent to a 76mm cannon, which is why the Italians have opted for the larger caliber cannon in their current projects. In second place is the 35mm Millennium Cannon. This Swiss-designed cannon is one of the main point defense weapons today. It has a single 35mm barrel, capable of firing up to 1,000 shots per minute, and has 252 ammunition ready for use. Just like the best-placed systems in our ranking, the main advantage of the 35mm Millennium Cannon is the possibility of using special ammunition, which in this case are ahead projectiles. These munitions are similar to the ABM projectiles already mentioned here, which explode releasing a rain of fragments in the direction of the targets, unlike 3P munitions, which release fragments in all directions. Each ahead ammunition carries 152 tungsten fragments, which are released at the exact moment calculated by the fire control system, which guarantees extremely high effectiveness and, like other programmable ammunition, eliminates the need for an extremely high rate of fire, as few projectiles can cover a large area. Although it has a smaller caliber than 40mm cannons, the very long tube of the Millennium Cannon guarantees greater pressure and consequently greater muzzle velocity, which provides a greater range. The effective range against aerial targets can reach 5,000 meters, basically the same as a 57mm cannon, but with a rate of fire almost five times higher. Against a subsonic missile flying at 250 meters per second, the 35mm Millennium Cannon would have approximately 20 seconds to react and neutralize the threat, without the need to getting direct impacts, thanks to its ahead ammunition. This provides a very high level of protection, so much so that this cannon, designed for naval use, was later adapted for land use as the German Mantis system. And the first place on our list is the Canon Strails the 76mm. This Italian cannon is an evolution of a long line of 76mm cannons, such as the Compact and the Super Rapid, which came before. It has a 76mm tube, and can fire up to 120 times per minute, with more than 80 rounds of ammunition available in the below-deck magazine. Although the Cannon Strails has the lowest rate of fire of anyone on the list, it makes up for it with the most modern ammunition, called Dart. We have already mentioned several special ammunition here, such as 3P, ABM and Ahead, but none of them compare to Dart ammunition, simply because Dart is a guided ammunition. This ammunition has movable control surfaces, capable of altering its trajectory in flight. Guidance is carried out by radio command, using an antenna mounted on the cannon itself. 
The combination of the largest caliber on the list with the dart guided ammunition also guarantees the greatest effective range against aerial targets, which can reach 8,000 meters. Against a subsonic missile flying at 250 meters per second, the cannon strail's 76 millimeters would have approximately 32 seconds to react and neutralize the threat which is about five times longer than a system like the Phalanx. The dart-guided ammunition can perform maneuvers of up to 40 GS to pursue targets, but even if a direct impact is not achieved, it guarantees destruction through a proximity fuse. The 76mm cannon is the main reason why the twin 40mm cannon fell into disuse in the Italian Navy. While the dual 40mm cannon is a great weapon, the Strail 76mm offers superior performance at an equivalent weight and volume, which is of great importance considering the limited space available on warships. This shows how defense systems technology is evolving. If a few decades ago it was necessary to have a cannon with a rate of 5,000 shots per minute to destroy an enemy missile one mile away, Today it is possible to do so at a distance five times greater with just two or three shots from a weapon like the Strails. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.